Hello, this is a preview of Ubuntu 16.04.1. It is based on Ubuntu 16.04 and it is originally from Russia. Let's have a look around. If you click on the right, if you right click on the desktop, the following commands appear. Open a new window, let's try it out. Basically open up the file system in the desktop folder. Create launcher, if you want to create launchers, let's say for Firefox, let's try it out. Create launcher for Firefox. Create. Let's try to open it up. Mark executable, let's say yes. Let's wait for it. You can make numeral icons like that. As you see, it works quite fast and easy. Let's look at the version of Firefox. It's Firefox 47. I like these icons here. Maximize, minimize. Let's close it. Close tabs. Create your L link. Let's say Facebook. And then open Facebook. And www.facebook.com. Let's see if we can change the icon. Nothing else there. Let's say create. Oh, there's many icons. Let's look. It's web browser. Create. Mark executable. Let me open it up. And there we go. Then create folder, go to OPS. Create document, empty document. Open terminal here. When open the terminal inside the desktop folder, which is quite nifty. You can move around in your file system and open the specific in to a specific directory in your terminal easily. Open as root, type your password, I use Ubuntu in my videos as my password. And it opens up your file system as a root user. Find a folder. It's basically like search, so let's say new. And it finds these two folders which we just made. Arrange, arrange desktop icons. And it arranges them like this. Desktop settings. You yeah, can you choose different backgrounds. Let's try this Linux one. And yeah, you can choose solid colors or backgrounds. Stretch. Quite normal. Quite simple. I like it. And properties, just information about your system, emblems, permissions. Let's go to the bottom panel. This time, as it is in Russian, and I'm also based in Russia, they gave me the alphabet, no, the calendar in Russian. But if you use a 
European or US time zone, it should be in English, hopefully. Also, the installation process. This, the live CD in the grab boot up as Russian, but you can switch the languages at the bottom easily to English. Here's the internet connection, sound, and language switch. But Russian and English. And about the panel, it is about XPC. XFCE for you got the XFCE desktop environment as you could already seen in most probably. You can remove this panel, you can find the information about the panel, you can log out of your computer, you can edit your panel here as you want it. It's quite a nifty tool. You can add new items to your panel, like the weather for instance, add, close, and here you can configure the weather in the plugin settings. So let's go to the plugin settings, properties. As I'm based in St. Petersburg, it found my location automatically. It is quite cool. It's 20 degrees today. And here you can open up your internet browser. Firefox is the default. The file manager that I use, Funner. Switch between your files over here. I'm running it in a virtual machine, file system. You can go back, you can go in front, you can go to the top, you can go to, the, to your own folder. This is the path. And here's all the other options. Okay. This around. We got some hot corners. It's quite nice. Let's, close it. Let's go to the menu. Here you can open up your terminal, file manager, web browser, which is Firefox. There's some accessories. Graphics, they got GIMP pre installed, simple scan for scanning, Firefox Skype already pre installed, I presume it's 4.3. Multimedia, VLC, record my desktop for a screencast like this, like this one, Library Office 5. Five point one point four point two and Skype four point three System Manager it looks pretty straightforward. You can change the desktop and icons and wallpaper. Look, icons, fonts, settings. Yes, all about more about this desktop wallpapers. We've seen it before when we were on the commands when you right click on the mouse. File manager. You can manage, you can customize your File manager here, notifications so you can move your, here you can customize your 
notifications, panel, you can customize your panel, preferred applications, it's quite nice as you can customize your your options. Window manager more options to customize your system disks is a great app to format your hard drives to mount them and so on display this is where you will configure your resolution and also if you have a projector you can configure it here to work correctly. Keyboard some settings for your keyboard mouse and touchpad again some settings to if you have any problems or if you want to change anything go for it. Power manager you can customize it as you like Printers if you want to add network or USB printers. Yes, what will you can choose what will happen when you add some removable drives and media. <coughs> Sorry. Accessibility more options. Start editor, session and startup, what will start up, start up applications, and other information to customize your system. Bluetooth adapters, I don't have a Bluetooth device, but if you have, you can come configure it here and settings editor. Yeah, you need to change anything. That is the place to do it. Yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Goodbye.